hundreds of thousands of Nepalese are struggling to recover from the deadly earthquake that hit the country in April last year. 9,000 people were killed and over 20,000 injured after a cataclysmic 7.8 magnitude quake that shook the country, damaging more than 800,000 homes and leaving about 500,000 families without shelter. Many locals, who borrowed money to fix or rebuild their homes from scratch, are now at risk of being trafficked or duped into selling their kidneys to cover their debts. Based on our research reports, the, mo the most important priority right now is cash, housing, and food, three things, that's all they need right now. And whatever, however they can buy that, uh, if it's selling their kidneys or selling themselves, for example, they have no other choice. Over a year after the devastating earthquake, reconstruction has been slow and uneven in Nepal. Many Nepalese are still languishing in toppling tents while the rainy season is at its peak. Nepalese have been going through some highly dramatic times in the past 15 months. I've returned to Nepal from the Middle East to help my family after the quakes. Our home was totally blown away. The situation is so bad that I'm afraid I will have to leave again soon. Actually, it's a delayed and a not a serious commitment from the government. So we can see that the priority for the political parties was to their party, not the country, not the people who are affected from the uh, this uh, devastating earthquake. We could not develop program, uh, reconstruction activities, uh, yearly program timely. After the deadly quakes, India imposed an unofficial border blockade at its border with Nepal. This caused more than 20,000 big and small industries to close, pushing almost one million more Nepalese into poverty. Furthermore, recent floods and landslides have killed more than 70 Nepalese, with over a million residents forced to flee their homes. Max Chivili, Press TV, Kathmandu.